The Aftermath When the Narcissist Can No Longer Control You Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Today, we're delving into a crucial topic, the dynamics of control in relationships with narcissists. A narcissist's fundamental need revolves around their ability to exert control over individuals. This control is not just a preference, but a necessity for them. They seek the capability to influence and steer your actions and decisions, essentially gaining authority over your life. This need for control stems from their desire to ensure that you act in ways that serve their interests and uphold their perceived superiority. Should a narcissist find themselves unable to control you, you become irrelevant to their schemes. This is particularly evident when you begin to think independently or allow yourself to get lost in aspirations and dreams that they cannot manipulate to their advantage. At this juncture, their treatment of you takes a sharp turn towards disdain. They may disregard your feelings, overlook your needs, or demean you, treating you as if you are unworthy. In the eyes of a narcissist, anyone who is not under their control is deemed worthless and undeserving of consideration. Narcissists harbor a deep-seated aversion towards individuals who live freely, unencumbered by the usual social conventions. They detest those who embrace life's unpredictability, those who yearn for liberation from both external and internal constraints. Their disdain extends to people who stand out by utilizing their creativity or innovative ideas. Essentially, anyone who values autonomy or pursues personal interests poses a threat to the narcissist's agenda of maintaining control. The desire for control by a narcissist encompasses every aspect of your life. For those who prize independent thought and action, this presents a significant challenge to the narcissist's objectives. They envision you not as a partner, but as an asset, expecting complete obedience and submission to their will. They demand adherence to their directives, viewing you as an extension of themselves rather than an individual with your own rights and desires. Refusal to surrender control to a narcissist can provoke intense reactions. They might respond with fury, exhibiting violent and uncontrollable anger. Alternatively, they could opt to sever ties with you, effectively discarding you from their life. This drastic response underscores their inability to tolerate any form of dissent or autonomy that threatens their dominance and control. If you find yourself discarded and left alone by a narcissist, consider it a stroke of luck for you have narrowly escaped a potentially destructive scenario. The reality is, most narcissists, when faced with the inability to control someone, will not simply walk away. Instead, they often embark on a path aimed at undermining and tearing down the individual who is beyond their control. The concept of a genuine relationship is foreign to a narcissist because true relationships are built on mutual connections and respect, qualities that are inherently absent in narcissists. A genuine relationship is characterized by a meaningful connection between two individuals, where both parties have an interest in and respect for each other's thoughts, feelings, and needs. However, narcissists lack the ability to form such connections because their need for control and self-centeredness dominates their interactions. They are incapable of prioritizing anyone else's needs or feelings above their own, making a true relationship with them impossible. Everything in their world must revolve around them, their desires, their emotions, and their demands. Despite this, narcissists are often willing to maintain an illusion of a relationship as long as it serves their purpose. If they find someone who is willing to endure their constant self-focused narratives and demands, they will keep this person around. This folk connection is solely for their benefit, providing them with an audience and a source of narcissistic supply. However, this arrangement is incredibly one-sided. You will find yourself perpetually sidelined, your voice unheard, and your presence barely acknowledged. In every conversation and situation, the narcissist places themselves at the forefront, leaving you feeling neglected and insignificant. This dynamic ensures that your sense of self-worth and identity is constantly undermined. Narcissists do not appreciate your uniqueness or individuality. They are disinterested in learning about your true self. To them, you are valuable only insofar as what you can provide or offer to them. This transactional view of relationships means that genuine emotional connection and understanding are off the table. You will find yourself longing for a moment of genuine recognition or empathy from the narcissist, a moment that, sadly, will never come. 
The narcissist is perpetually engrossed in their own world, their thoughts, and their perspectives, rendering them incapable of seeing or valuing yours. They dismiss your viewpoints and feelings, because, in their world, they are the only ones who are ever right. When a narcissist realizes they cannot exert control over you, their interest and care for you vanish entirely. Your value in their eyes is directly tied to your utility to them. The moment you cease to serve their purposes, you become irrelevant. This transactional view of love, where affection is contingent upon what one can offer, mirrors the way someone might appreciate a possession, like a car, for the convenience it provides rather than for the object itself. In the narcissist's world, you are akin to a tool or accessory that enhances their life, requiring minimal effort on their part as long as you remain under their control. Control, for the narcissist, is not merely a desire, but a necessity that feeds their sense of power, confidence, and self-importance. They leverage this control to bolster their image, often using the influence they have over you to impress others or to inflate their own ego. Your role in their life may range from being a source of admiration that feeds their ego to a financial resource they can exploit. The very essence of any relationship with a narcissist is predicated on this imbalance of control. Such a relationship is inherently dysfunctional, as it is built on the exploitation and manipulation of one party for the benefit of the other. This dynamic is not only unfair but often crosses into the realm of being deceitful and manipulative. Challenging the narcissist's control or attempting to lead the relationship triggers what is known as narcissistic injury, leading to an explosive reaction known as narcissistic rage. This reaction is a defense mechanism, a way to protect their ego from the perceived threat of losing control. In response, they may launch a vicious attack on your character, questioning your morals and painting themselves as the victim in the narrative. They will twist the story, suggesting that your actions or objections are unjust and portraying themselves as the wrong party, generous and caring, while labeling you as selfish and uncaring. This manipulation extends beyond the personal sphere as the narcissist seeks to tarnish your reputation among family and friends. They will propagate the narrative that they desired nothing more than a relationship with you, painting you as the one who abandoned and refused to support them. This strategic smear campaign is designed to isolate you, making it difficult for others to see the reality of the situation and ensuring that the narcissist maintains a semblance of control and sympathy from others. Engaging in what one might call a relationship with a narcissist is fundamentally impossible because the essence of a relationship is based on a mutual connection between two individuals. This connection involves sharing, understanding, and valuing each other's feelings and needs. However, when it comes to a narcissist, this reciprocal connection is conspicuously absent. They exhibit an overt refusal to acknowledge or value your emotions and needs, rendering your input irrelevant in the dynamic. The interactions are dominated by their monologues and their self-centered adaptations of situations, with everything orchestrated to suit their desires, often at your detriment. As the other party, you are expected to silently bear the repercussions of their actions, your grievances, and complaints falling on deaf ears. Narcissists operate in a realm where the only opinions and thoughts that hold any significance are their own. They are ensnared in their mental echo chambers, convinced that their perceptions and beliefs are the absolute truth. This unwavering belief in their infallibility leads them to assert their viewpoints and make declarations without the need for empirical evidence or logical reasoning. Their arguments do not stem from a place of factual accuracy or well-considered analysis, but are solely predicated on their personal convenience and whims. In this skewed dynamic, you find yourself pressured to relinquish your individuality and conform to the narcissist's vision of who you should be. This manipulation is not a sudden occurrence, but a gradual process, where the narcissist seeks to influence and reshape your character and beliefs to better serve their needs and desires. The essence of your being, your thoughts, opinions, and personal growth become subject to their control and manipulation, transforming you into a mere extension of their will. However, it is crucial to remember that you possess the inherent right to autonomy and self-determination. You have been endowed with the ability to think independently, to harbor your own beliefs, and to make choices based on your convictions and values. It is vital to safeguard this fundamental freedom against the narcissist's attempts to usurp it. The narcissist's need to control stems from their deep-seated inability to govern their emotions and actions. 
They seek to mask their inner turmoil and insecurities by exerting control over others, falsely equating domination with liberation. In closing, if you found resonance with the insights shared in this expanded discussion, I encourage you to engage further by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Activate the notification bell to stay updated on future content. Your support and interaction are greatly appreciated. Thank you for dedicating your time to this video, and I look forward to continuing this conversation with you in the near future.